Welcome to those of you that are new and here for the first time. Thank you for joining us. For those of you that are coming back, welcome back. So guys, I have been so looking forward to doing this video for you guys. Guys, have you ever wondered or ever used or ever thought of using your leftover orange peels or citrus peels? But today we're gonna focus on orange. You can actually use your peels for so many great, amazing uses. So guys, this actually was an idea that shout out to my grandma i have to give her all credit for i had been visiting with my grandmother and we were just talking and lo and behold um i you know happened to ask for um some tea and she said oh well you know i can uh just uh, boil some orange peels like I did when you were younger. And I said, oh my goodness, you still do that? So guys, as I was growing up, my grandma used to dry out the orange peels, as you see here, and she would later just put them aside and use them for tea. The most delicious tea you've ever had. I promise you, it literally, it's amazing if you've never tried orange. Well, I mean, if you've never tried an orange infused tea, you really have to. And so lo and behold, I noticed on the counter that she had stored her orange peels from the past few months. So as you can see, this was back in August and this bag is actually from October. So this is honestly all the orange peels that she has eaten, which is amazing. Um, and I had expressed to her that, you know what, Grandma, you just actually gave me an idea. Because you are literally saving them for your tea, if you don't mind and you have extra, which apparently she did, I said to her, can you leave it aside? And I'm actually going to make a uh, orange serum for both your face and an orange oil for your hair. So guys, with that being said, today's video is essentially that we're making a orange peel face serum as well as a hair oil and orange honestly guys is amazing because it is so filled with vitamin c and it really does a wonderful job at um clearing up if you have acne if you have breakouts if you have uneven skin there's so many things that you could do with this homemade recipe. You can uh, get rid of the blackheads. You can uh, lighten dark spots, hyper hyperpigmentation, and you can make your skin look and feel beautiful, brighten it, have a glowing complexion. And I love the fact that the vitamin C in the peels actually contain nutrients as well as phytonutrients which are very beneficial to the skin. And so this is what offers the healing properties and that will contribute to making your skin looking flawless. So guys, a fun fact, these peels actually contain much more vitamin C than if you were drinking orange juice. And if you're like my family or any family that drinks orange juice, you automatically assume that, you know, if you drink the orange juice, then you're getting all the vitamins from or vitamin C from there. Actually, no, you get more vitamin C from the actual fruit. And so I thought it was interesting. I read a study where um, from the actual vitamin C, it helps to fight uh, it's good for combating free radicals and it helps to fight bad functioning skin cells. So that's pretty cool. It helps to restore any radiant, um, like, I guess, pigmentation that has been lost. So it restores a radiant glow to your skin. It has calcium, which I did not know. And obviously, guys, calcium is good for your skin, especially if you find that you have dry, itchy skin. That actually is a sign of calcium deficiency. So you definitely want to look into that. And you want to make sure that your levels are at par. And in regards to the actual skin lightening aspect, it works as a natural skin lightener as well. Um, somebody had asked me recently to do a soap that actually focuses on lightening the skin. And so this I'm going to use once I grind these down, I'm actually going to make it into a powder. So that is going to be beneficial. It will help with dark spots, discoloration, and remove any kind of undue um, skin cell damage, if you will. 
And so this is going to be an obvious, obvious choice when it comes to replenishing your skin. So guys, let's jump right into this. The oils that we are going to be using are grapeseed oil, as I hit the camera, sorry guys, and avocado oil. So the first thing we want to do is these have already been washed courtesy of my grandmother so they've been washed and they've been put out to dry so i would recommend guys i mean if you don't have a dehydrator this is like the next best way to do it you want to make sure that you place these by a window which is what my grandma does she's so cute she literally put them by um the window in her kitchen and she um leaves them there for you can leave them up to about you know seven seven days uh you pretty much just want to make sure that there's no moisture and you want to make sure that when they're dried they easily snap apart right so that is what you're looking for and then obviously there's no like infection on them so there's no moisture that had um, turned into any kind of bacteria and you're going to break them into small pieces guys i wish you can smell these these actually smell really really nice you can use these as i've used them on my channel before uh lemon and orange peels as uh, natural um air fresheners so just know that instead of throwing out your orange or citrus peels you can actually turn around and use these for a multiple um, of beauty products. So as I mentioned, I'm doing the oil, the serum for your face, and I'm also doing the hair oil because you know me, I love an oil that can double and um, pretty much, you know, have two purposes. Another great thing uh, that you can do with these is you can make a paste. There's so many things really. So you can make a paste um, you just mix it with some milk, uh, add a few teaspoons of your powder, your orange peel powder. Uh, you could add aloe vera gel, that's one option. And then you stir it together, put it on your face for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then just wash it off. And over time, you'll see that it actually helps to lighten any discoloration and dark spots, and it will help to brighten your skin as well. So definitely keep that in mind. Uh, what else can you use these wonderful peels for? You can, again, you can use these as tea. Guys, I promise you, if you've never tried um, orange uh, peel, like, for tea, it's really easy. Same concept after they're dried out like this. Or um, I actually, yeah, I would say wait until they're dried out, and then you can uh, steep them, right? Like, put some hot water in a cup steep it and then within like i would say five minutes if you boil it longer it does tend to have a bitter um like if you let it steep longer i should say it tends to have a bitter taste so you really just need five minutes and once you are done you then can have your wonderful tasting orange tea so guys i'm going to stop talking finish breaking these up because as you can see I have this big bag here and I want to use them up I would suggest guys if you're gonna um, save the orange peels try and use them unless you're gonna freeze them which I've never personally done but if you're gonna just dry them out and like put them in a bag like this try and use them within I would say three to four months you don't want to go past that as you can see I've had this one since August uh, definitely it helps to label your bags um, because you don't want to have them too long um, just with anything just like with anything else because if you have them too long then you run the risk of actually um, you know just maybe not having them uh, be as potent as they need to be so that being said guys I'm going to speed this up and I'll be right back Oh my goodness like guys this is what your grinded orange peels are going to look like and this is how much my two bags gave me so what I'm going to do is I am going to split this in half I'm going to use some of it to produce a oil infusion for our serum and our hair oil and then I'm gonna 
actually put the other half in an airtight uh, jar and I'm going to use that for a upcoming soap recipe. So do stay tuned for that. But that's pretty much it. So we are going to get these jarred and then we'll wrap up this DIY for now and we'll come back and check on it in four to six weeks. So guys there you have it this is our beautiful diy orange serum the color is amazing the benefits are even more spectacular you can use this on your body your face your hair so definitely give this a try i hope you guys like this video and we'll see you in the next one take care bye